So about a year and a half ago, I was having issues with my blower fan. And I replaced it with a cheap Amazon replacement and then proceeded to replace the uh, resistor module maybe a month after that. Well, now it's, although the uh, temp readout says 12 have been sitting in the sun, it's more like zero degrees out. And I have zero fan. Doesn't matter where I set this. I got my, I took my panel off there. I got my little scraper and I've been banging the damn fan motor to get it to kick on. And see, even that doesn't fucking work. So, I'm at my wits end with this bullshit. So I'll show you my uh, <laughs> rather expensive solution to this after the intro. So I wanted to jump in here with a little disclaimer before we get started. Uh, not really one for uh, gimmick infringement, but I want to just uh, flash the little warning up like uh, Vice Grip Garage does and say, I'm an idiot, and do what I do at your own risk, uh, and you'll see why as the video progresses. So it's about 15 degrees. It warmed up a little bit in here. I went ahead, um, I unboxed this when I got this, but uh, I'll just show you my Rock Auto receipt. These are the part numbers I got here. And uh, I went ahead and unboxed this stuff already. Genuine Delco uh, blower fan. Um, I got the, uh, this is the genuine control module, just like the one I took out last year, that woo-ree or whatever. Um, I opted not to get the harness this time. And then a brand new control head. And I'm doing the one without the heated seats. Ah. You look closely, I think these, that brown there's no pins on the brown or the green. I think those are for the heated seats. So if you have a if you have a leather interior, you'll have the heated seat buttons here and the connectors. So that's what I'm gonna be putting in. Okay, before we get to the tools necessary, first thing you're gonna do, pop your hood. And you're gonna either wanna disconnect your battery or just easier to uh, take off the, uh, the cover here ah, cold and pull this fuse right here I think it's called bat number four let me uh, get the light on that yep 30 amp bat number four pull that one and set it aside and don't All right, lose it. so I just got a nut driver with a quarter, I believe it's a quarter inch, if I remember right. I got my little thumb ratchet. It's either a quarter, I think this one's 730 seconds. Yeah, I think that's what I used for the fan. But I also got this little gearless ratchet I picked up at Northern Tool. You know, if you wanna reverse it, you just push it and it goes the other direction. It doesn't have, like when you ratchet it, like, I don't know, I always have those issues with these tiny ratchets that to get them to click, you really got to, you know, you got to like hold on to the socket. This one is amazing and it's tiny. So I recommend you pick one up. If I can find a link to it at Northern Tool, I'll link to it. I, I know it was on the little $10 rack where I found it, so it might not be in there. So I already have this panel off. There's three of those little retaining tabs. I don't know what I did. I think they're in the glove box somewhere. I'll find them, but you know, watch my other videos on how to get them out. And I've already went ahead and replaced this harness. 
and I've replaced this control module. Like usually this this one here is riveted on and you need to slice it off. And I already have a bolt in there. And then this fan, there's three bolts holding it in. Screws, I should say. Where am I pointing? So use your uh, little thumb ratchet or that gearless thing to get these all out. I'll put some uh, title cards up to show you how to do this in depth. In the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and take this stuff out. Okay, so the fan is exercised and I've got this module out. I unplugged it and I just made sure none of these terminals are burnt up. And that's the main reason why you replace this harness. And these all look good. I'm going to leave this one in. Yeah. Good. The uh, terminals at the fan look good. Let's see if I can get a... Hmm. Try a selfie mode. Here we go. Selfie mode up underneath here. That's where the fan goes. Ah, still can't. I'm trying to get some light up here. That thing goes up here somewhere. I also wanted to point out the three screws that hold in the blower fan are 730 seconds. That's why I, what I had on here. Yep, I got them out with the thumb ratchet. And then the ones I used on the replacement for the uh, module, these are a quarter inch and I used, a, used my gearless ratchet and this worked great, by the way. So I'm going to get these the hell out of here, put the Delco parts in. And then we'll move on to the control panel. I think I broke the this piece off my seat. I'm gonna have to re-glue a part back on there. I was leaning back on it so hard. But uh, there we go. We got the Delco fan in place and the Delco control module. So I'll get this uh, button back up. I gotta find my retaining pins. Now that the hard part's done, I'll just make sure we're in frame here. I'm just gonna take my panel tool, pry this panel off, and I know you wanna hit this. Unplug this stupid airbag warning light. It's a pain in the ass, so I might just leave it. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, you know what? I forgot my stupid 7 millimeter. That thing is nothing. I thought, for whatever reason, I thought the radio sat in front of this, but I'm wrong about that. It's been a few years since I've had this all apart. It's just these two screws holding this in. Might have to shift into low. Oh, shift into low. Put on the parking brake. The hell. Make sure the ignition's on, not. <laughs> okay, now can we get. Oh, now the gear shift's in the way. Basically, just disconnect these two connectors a blue one and a is it gray yeah gray we'll get the new one here blue and gray and then you can go back and park and shut the ignition out to shut the damn thing up oh shut up okay and try to find those screws you had there. Ooh, we're gonna put that back to hot. And this one looks so much shinier. <laughs> you can hear the blend door actuators. There we go. 
I got the MyLink radio and you know, it's not a perfect fit. I'm gonna resituate this camera here. Yeah. Since you didn't disconnect the since I didn't disconnect the warning light, let me just press this all back in place. Alright. So don't forget that you had removed that 30 amp fuse. Install that right chair. I think. Is it twist? Oh, it's on the angle like that. There we go. Okay. Alright, here it is. Moment of truth time. Alright, let's see. Damn it, I got her. Oh, wait. 220, 20. That's the right time. It's not noon. Oh. <laughs> See, I saw that and I thought, shit, my clock needs to be reset. But the damn temp ain't reading for some reason. What's up with that? Now let's listen. Yes. Oh, man, this is awesome. It doesn't just stop completely. This whole damn week, when it's been below zero, goddamn, if I didn't have it running full bore, it just didn't work at all. At all. There'd be a, you know, come to a stop sign or something, if there's any kind of, well, let's say for instance, the ABS was activated, the fan would just die. So I'd have, like, I'd shut the car off and restart it and it'd kick back. But now I can run this. This new control panel's weird. The It doesn't, like, have a definitive clunk when you have it in a certain speed, like the old one did. This one, you can still kind of feel it. Otherwise, let's see. AC button works. Yeah, it's too cold for that. Cancel. Rear defog button works. There we go. Okay. Back in business. Yep, there we go. I'm satisfied. Damn. Now I just gotta figure out why my damn temp display isn't working. <laughs> That's a whole other issue. Alright, so as I figured out, I did some uh, Google fooing and duck duck going, and uh, turns out when you replace this module, you need to have it programmed with a Tech 2. So I took this one back out and put the original back in. I mean, everything else worked fine. The, you know, uh, everything was calibrated, the heat controls and everything worked fine. It's just that uh, temp display readout um, wasn't calibrated properly. So I'm still going to hold on to this. I'm probably going to, I mean, I really have been looking into buying one of those Chinese, uh, what do they call it, TIS web um, flash an image on the screen. It's basically a modern version of a Tech 2, kind of what they use at the GM dealer now, but they sell Chinese knockoffs. I've been looking into getting one of those, and I really want one. So I think, like for programming the radios and all that crap, will be great for this. So I'm going to hold on to it. And, you know, I'm just suspecting this fan switch is the main culprit. Anyways, um... So just a little word of caution before you go spending, I think I, this was 120 bucks <laughs> for a brand new one. Don't make the mistake like I did. So there's my thoughts on that. So with that all being said, thanks for checking out my channel. Be sure to give me a like, 
comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.